we started with a capture of uh, initialization in order to see the NVMe over fiber channel and the SCSI over fiber channel links get established. Um, the analyzer sitting, we're looking at the trace that's captured between the cavium host and the FC uh, switch. There, on the other side of the switch is Sandblaze with a SCSI target and an NVMe target. And you see here is the end of the out-of-band negotiation. Here's training complete on both sides. Then the link drops and and uh, in-band messages start with here's F loggy coming from the host. The switch comes back with an F loggy accept and you can see with this destination ID that's the fiber channel ID for the host D30161. Shortly after this the the host does a um, uh, register FC4 types and Notice that it's registering type 08 for SCSI as well as 28 for NVMe. Then the host needs to see who else is out there, so it's going to do a query to the switch to get port identifiers. And the switch comes back with an accept and a list. Here are the, the uh, ports it sees out there. The first one is the host itself, that 161. And then there are two other things, an A0, one ending in A0, one ending in A2. The host is going to use the um, get fiber channel features, get FC4 features, to learn that that A0 device is an NVMe target and the a2 device is not an NVMe target, so it knows it's a SCSI target. And after all these queries to the switch, it will finally do um, an end-to-end -end communication with P loggy and then a process login. So we can see this first process login from the, the host to the A0 device with type code NVMe, FC NVMe, and then another process login from the host to so from the host to the A2 device and that type code is, is SCSI. Another way to look at this trace is is to filter for NVMe. And uh, after that fiber channel login stuff is is uh, uh, is completed, then there's the the NVMe um, communication between NVMe protocol communication between the host and and the um, and the target. Here's an NVMe connect and um, and NVMe uh, connect data. Before that, actually, you can see in this main view there's an NVMe create association and the uh, coming from the host and the accept to that create uh, NVMe create association coming back from the NVMe target. Similarly, on the SCSI side, if we filter for SCSI, then we can see the SCSI protocol starting with a series of inquiries coming from the host and inquiry data coming back from the SCSI target. So we, we, initial, we initialized the link, saw the link get established, saw the the host query the fiber channel switch and then communicate in the appropriate with the appropriate protocol to each of the of the devices